Welcome to the Granville Public Library's fourth annual model train exhibit. And this year we take you to a place where many of you are familiar with, and that is Whoville as we celebrate the world of Dr. Seuss. And this is where our story begins. Every Who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot. But the Grinch, who lived just north of Whoville, did not. And as you enter in the hallway, you'll see we have the storyboards this year. So you could just read the Grinch's story right along and sing right along, which we heard rumors that people were doing while they waited in the hallway. And if you look carefully up top, we have the Grinch and Max in their cave, looking down upon a peaceful, sleepy, happy Whoville planning his mischief as we know it and you can see here he is peeking into the homes of the sleeping who's getting ready for Christmas and then what happens in our story the Grinch gets an awful idea a wonderful awful idea and he comes into Whoville and Cindy Lou's house and he steals all the wreaths hanging in the homes and he strips all the lights and the pictures and he peeks out from the fireplace and then what does he hear? The happy singing of Who's and something wonderful happens what is it? His heart grew three sizes that day and he packs up all his stolen Whoville goodies and comes back into Whoville, which is where we welcome you this year. And as you first enter, you will see our sponsor table. This year we had 35 local businesses give a financial donation to the library which helps us um, continue the show every year. And on behalf of all of us at the library, we'd like to thank our sponsors for their generous donation and their support of the train show. And I'm swinging you back around here. There's Horton up on the screen. And we have our Who tree over here and our happy Who singing right across from our first train, which is the N scale train. And this is the third year for this train as well. And we'll head over here to our HO train. And this year, we have 10 different scales represented and 14 trains. You can see they're getting ready for Christmas down in the village. Over here we have the S gauge. And what's special about this train is this is Tim Schoenenberger's childhood train. And Tim, as many of you know, is who we call the train guy. Um, most of the trains that you see are Tim's and he is just a hobbyist that likes to share his trains with us every year and we are very grateful for that. And down below you're going to see, there we go, a train from G-Scale Junction. G-Scale Junction is a local business in town specializing in G-Scale trains. And over here you see a cast of characters you love and know. And a train that many of you love and know. This is the Hogwarts Express. It's back for its third year, and sadly, it's final year at the train show. So there goes Hermione and Ron off to school, and Harry. And we just have enjoyed this train so much. People love to stand here and, and do the I Spy. And it's just, there's always so much great detailing with this train. We'll give you one last peek here. And then over here, we have a Z-scale train. And then we have this train here. This is a TT for tabletop. And this is uh, new to us this year. 
This is Tim's train. And we'll get up close so you can see some of that detailing. See all the skews. I'm going to swing you around here. There's Tim. Hi, Tim. <laughs> to show you our signature train this year, our Whoville train. And as always, these trains are so hard to take in in video, so we'll hope you'll come see us in person. But we'll start with the North Pole. Not a great detailing. And we'll come down here to Whoville. And what we love about Whoville this year is that these lovely buildings that you see were all done by an art class at the Welsh Hill School. And they are just lovely. People have enjoyed these buildings Oops, tremendously. So I'm gonna give you a shot there of the building. And then we have the Grinch's cave up there. You can see his door and the Grinch and Max with the sleigh full of goodies. And the big hit this year, as you can imagine, have been these peekaboo windows below for our little ones, especially, but I've seen grown ups come peek too. Woo! There's the doodle bug. And this is all made possible again by Jim at G Scale Junction. Thank you very much. Oh, and over here we have tiny trains. Oh, and look, we have a guest appearance from Cindy Lou Who. Hello, Cindy Lou. Thank you for letting us visit. Bye. And here we have a T scale train. And we'll get another shot of the Grinch here. What's great about this year's layout is we've opened up the sides, so you have more places to come and view the, the trains up close. And there's our Grinch. And over here we have our Lorax Reading Land, uh, which is popular with the kids as well. They like to come in and they can color and they can sit and read. And they have a train set down there they can get their hands on and play. And what we love about this area as well is all of these decorations on the tree um, were all handmade by volunteers. As well, let me see if I can turn around here. As well as these lovely trees. It takes about 14 to 16 volunteers every year to make this show happen. And that includes things like making these beautiful signs that we have at each post, from decorating to setting up track. And we just want to thank all of those people that have made this year's train show possible. And on behalf of the Friends of the Library, the Granville Public Library, Tim and Jim, we want to thank you for your support. We hope you have a happy holidays ahead, and don't forget to read this season. Bye-bye.